going to be showing you guys how to play Red by Taylor Swift, so stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. Loving him is like driving the new Maserati down a dead end street. So to play this song in the key that Taylor Swift sings it in, you're going to need to have your guitar in standard tuning with your capo on the second fret. Um, if you don't have a capo, you can watch my video here and I teach you how to make one. Or um, you can also play it without a capo using these exact same chords, but you'll just have to sing it a little bit lower. So unfortunately this song does require you to know a bar chord, which is B minor. And I know that that's really hard for some of you to play, but it's just something that I think you need to practice at because it's a chord that's used very often, and not only in Taylor Swift songs, but just in all songs. So um, yeah. Besides that though, it's pretty easy. There's only four chords in the entire song, and I'll go ahead and teach those to you right now. So the first chord you're going to need to know is G, which looks like this, and sounds like this. After that, you're going to need to know B minor, which is our barred chord. That looks like this, and it sounds like this. Okay, after that, you need to know A, which looks like this and sounds like this. And then the very last chord you need to know is D, which looks like this and sounds like this. So now that you know how to play the four chords you need to know for this song, why don't you go ahead and practice transitioning between them until you have them memorized, and then go ahead and continue this video and I'll show you some strumming patterns that you can use. It's just to take each um, chord and play it one time. So for this song, we're going to play G, B minor, A. And you're just going to play each of those chords one time on the beat. So for the verses, it would sound like this. Loving him was like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. this with the chorus as well. So just play each chord one time. Losing it was pain like I never know. Missing it was sorry all alone. Forgetting it was like trying to know somebody you never met. Okay, so go ahead and practice playing each chord just one time throughout the entire song if you're a beginner until you kind of have the transitioning down and everything. And then you can go ahead and move on to some more complicated strumming, which I'm about to show you. Alright, so if you have the first strumming pattern down and it's really easy to you, one way you can quickly make it a little more interesting without putting in too much extra effort is just to play each of those chords twice. So instead of just G, D, A, you're going to play G, G, beginning it would sound like this. And if you can hear, 
between each of those pairs, I'm actually muting the strings a little bit. So instead of letting them ring, I'm just going to stop the strings with the palm of my right hand. Like that. And then if you practice that slowly, you can kind of get it up to speed so that you can go in tempo. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like the way it sounds when you kind of slap the guitar a little bit. So don't be afraid to kind of hit it a little bit harder so it'll make that kind of hollow wooden sound, because I think that that sounds good. <laughs> so the third pattern I have to show you guys may be a little bit familiar if you play a lot of Taylor Swift songs, because I do use this a lot in my tutorials. But the pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. So with the beginning it would sound like this. Okay? So go ahead and put your G chord back on and it'll sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? And I am kind of muting the strings a little just so they don't ring, so you can hear the rhythm a little better. And how I'm actually doing that is I'm just placing my palm kind of on the strings as I play them kind of has a muted sound. Because there's two ways you can mute your strings. One is just to mute it while you play like this. The other is to play and then mute it afterwards. That one sometimes can get a little confusing when you're playing a fast song like Red. So I would suggest just go ahead and put your palm onto the strings as you play them. doesn't sound so pretty, but when you do it in tempo, it sounds fine. Go ahead and try it with the verse so you see what that sounds like. Loving him was like driving the new Maserati down a dead end street. Faster than the wind, passionate as sin, and it's so suddenly. And of course, you can use it for the chorus as well. Losing him was blue like I'd never known. Again, as I said earlier, it's this exact same pattern. 
pattern that we just learned, except now we're going to emphasize different beats. So if you didn't really like that one that I just showed you, maybe you'll prefer this one. Um, this one we're just going to break up into groups of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But um, again, we're just going to emphasize the first beat of each little group. So instead of one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, it'll be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I know this sounds so confusing, but when you play with it in the rhythm, it makes a lot more sense. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? So you can see when you emphasize the first beat in each of these groups, it kind of leaves the second beat a little bit muted. And that's exactly what we want because I think it sounds really great for um, the bridge of this song and other parts as well. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by playing this with the bridge. Remember in him comes in flashbacks and echoes. Tell myself it's time now. Gotta let go. Moving on from him is impossible. And I still see it all in my head. Okay. Um, of course, you can also use this for the verse and the chorus, just as we have been. But I think the coolest thing to do is try to go ahead and practice all of these different strumming patterns. That way when you do your cover with your guitar, you can mix and match them to make the sound a little bit more interesting so you're not playing the same um, pattern the whole way through. Of course, if that's where you're at and that's what you're comfortable with, just playing one pattern through, that's always fine too. So go ahead and practice some of those strumming patterns until you pick the ones that you like and can play them. And then um, go ahead and continue this video and I'll show you some picking patterns. I'm going to show you guys is the one that you kind of hear throughout the entire song but especially at the beginning and it sounds like this it's kind of the iconic sound because that's how her song starts out um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to play that so we're going to start out by going ahead and putting our G chord on okay and how we're going to play this is we're going to play the bottom note which is going to be the 6th or bottom E string. Okay. Then we're going to play the 3rd and 2nd strings. 6, 3, 2. Again, my left hand is still on my G chord, and I'm just going to play the 6th string, the 3rd string, and then the 2nd string. 6, 3, 2. 6, 3, Now go ahead and change to your B minor chord, and we're going to play it pretty much the same way, except now we're going to play the bottom string, which is the fifth, and then again play three and two. Five, three, two. Five, three, two. Five, three. Okay, so practicing going from G to B minor, we're going to go 6, 3, 2, then go to B minor, 5, 3, 2, okay? And then the last one we need to know is A. So go ahead and put your A chord down. And this one's going to be just like B minor. We're going to play the fifth string, and then 3 and 2 again. So that's 5, 3, Two. Five, three, two. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice the entire beginning starting with G. For G, we're going to play six, three, two. Switch to B minor. Five, three, two. Switch to A. Five, three, two. Okay, so let's try that one more time. G, B minor, A, and that's pretty much the entire beginning. You can play that with all of the verses and even the chorus if you want to. Loving him was like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. Faster than 
fashion medicine and it's so settling. And of course you can use this for the chorus as well. If you do want to use this pattern for the chorus, we're going to have to go ahead and learn D. So go ahead and put your D chord down. And for this one, we're just going to play the bottom string, which is four, and then three and two again. Four, three, two. So D is four, three, two. And the only reason you're going to need to know that is if you want to play this pattern through the chorus. So for the chorus, it would be G, six, three, two. Then go to D, four, three, two. And then end with A, five, three, two. So the entire chorus would sound like this. Losing him was blue like I never known. Missing him was dark gray all alone. Forgetting him was like trying to know somebody you never met. Alright, um, that's kind of the simple version of the picking pattern. I can show you one more picking pattern that's a little bit more complicated, but um, it's not too complicated, so don't worry about it. Go ahead and put your G chord back on, and we're going to play this exactly how I just showed you, six, three, two, except this time we're going to go ahead and continue this pattern by playing three, two, three again. So the whole pattern would be six, three, two, three, two, three. Okay, let's try that again. Six, three, two, three, two, three. So it sounds like this all together. Okay. And you've probably already caught on, it's the same for all the other chords. So go ahead and put your B minor chord on. We're going to start it out the same as we did in the first pattern. 5, 3, 2. But again, we're going to tack on that extra 3, 2, 3 at the end. 5, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Again, that's 5, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Okay, so when you put G and B minor together, it sounds like this. Six, three, two, three, two, three, five, three, two, three, two, three. And you guessed it, the last chord is A, so let's go ahead and practice A. Again, we're going to start it out the same as picking pattern one. Five, three, two, but then we're going to tack on that extra three, two, three at the end. So all together for A would sound like this. Five, three, two, three, two, three. Okay, so if you put all three of those chords together, it sounds like this. like to play if I were doing a cover of this song for the first verse. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of that. Loving him was like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. Faster than the wind, passionate as sin, ended so suddenly. And of course, just like in picking pattern one, if you would like to use this pattern for the chorus, you're going to have to know D. So go ahead and put your D chord on. And again, it's going to start out just like the first picking pattern. We're going to play four, three, two, and then tack on the extra three, two, three. So all together, D is four, three, two, three, two, three.
you get D down, then you can also use this pattern for the chorus. Losing it was blue like I never know. your chords, your strumming, and all of your picking variations. Go ahead and practice through everything until you're really comfortable with all of it and you've kind of decided what you like. And when you come back, I'll go ahead and play through the entire song with you and I'll list all the chords in front of you and um, yeah, we'll play through the entire song together. covers of songs I like to add a lot of variation within the guitar part just to make it sound a little more interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'll be doing while playing through the song you don't have to copy everything that I do but if you want to then right go right ahead but I just want to take a minute here to get organized to show you guys what I'm gonna do when I play through the song so at the very beginning I'm going to use the first picking pattern I showed you um, leading into the first verse, I'm going to go into the second picking pattern. Okay, that'll lead into the chorus the first time you sing it. And for that, I'm going to be playing the third strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. After that chorus is over, we're going to be going into the second verse, and for that I'm going to be playing the fourth strumming pattern. And then of course that'll lead into the chorus again, and for the chorus I'm going to use the third strumming pattern. bridge part, and that's when I'm going to use that fifth strumming pattern. Okay, and that will lead into the chorus one more time, but this is when it kind of slows down, so I'm just going to be playing the first strumming pattern, which is just playing each chord once. halfway through that chorus when it picks its speed back up, I'm going to go back to the fourth strumming pattern. Okay, and then um, I think I'm just going to stick with that pattern all the way through till the very end of the song. So I know that this is really confusing, there's a lot of stuff, but don't worry, when we play through the song again, I'll list it on top which strumming pattern I'm going to be using, and um, of course, if you just want to stick with one strumming pattern the entire time, then just ignore everything that I'm saying, but um, if you do want to do your cover the way that I would do my cover, then um, go ahead and look at the top and I'll show you which strumming patterns or picking patterns that I'll be using for each verse and chorus.
Okay, so you made it through the entire song. Congratulations! Make sure that if you like this tutorial to go ahead and please like it down below and uh, maybe leave a comment letting me know um, what you liked about it, maybe something that I can improve or just anything you have to say. And also if you're looking forward to more tutorials in the future, of course you can always subscribe because I do upload a lot of tutorials to my channel. As a side note to all of you who have already subscribed to me, I'm so sorry I haven't made tutorials very often this past month, but I've just been sick, and then I was busy, and then just everything just all blew up in my face at once. So I'm really sorry, but I promise I'm going to start uploading tutorials and other videos more frequently to my channel, so thank you for staying subscribed. And um, I also made a Facebook account that I'm going to start linking my polls to, like polls as to what songs that you think I should tutor you guys in next, and things like that. So um, if you want to go ahead and visit my Facebook page, there's a link down below. And um, if you like that, I don't know, maybe a rainbow will fly in your face and uh, you'll have an excellent day. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for all of your support. Thanks for watching this. I hope it helped. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. That's why he's been in my head Comes back to me but in my head want to check that out the link is down below and if you like my page then um, I don't know maybe a puppy will just come running up to you and look you in the face and you'll just have an awesome day maybe Mickey Mouse will come and take you sleep you away to Disney World with your whole family and you don't have to worry about school or anything you never know what could happen maybe Miss Taylor Swift herself will show up at your house and say hi to you and give you a hug I don't know <laughs>